Hello ladies and gentlemen, how are you? Long time no see, right? I was trying to take a little break there. I got a little crazy, got a little kooky. I needed to take a breather after that little spider bite. By the way, nothing to worry about. Um, I just happen to have a small infection when I noticed a spider crossing my foot. It's not the spider's fault. Doctor said it was probably from a tick. And because I've been working, body got ripped off, the head stuck in there, caused an infection from the crick, and the spider just was like, oh, food. And he just happened to take a little free nibble, that's all. It's not his fault. And for the record, no, I did not kill him, or her, whoever that spider may be. Uh, I forgot I was taking this video. Oh yeah, power drills. So my second drill, I just with. broke, so all this graded out, graded you know, from the, uh, like dropping it in the water or leaving ground, it outside right, and getting wet. This time, I dropped it in the creek. I just bought this uh, drill. It was a rigid drill. I got a little combo thing. Little it was rot, but, uh, my last uh, trip home. I got it. So it was like two months ago or something like that. And I spent a, you know, a hefty penny on it. I figured it'd be worth it. Well, I dropped it in the water and it broke. Don't throw them away. Just dig it out. I figured it out. It was actually, the motor is fine. The battery is fine. It was the switch. Now, if you know anything about wet power tools, you should know, which I did not, that if you have a power tool and it gets wet, whether it be via the rain or you drop it in a puddle or something, in my case, a, you know, the creek or a small river, totally submerged. Okay, what you're not going to do is shake it out plug the battery back in it and try to pull the trigger to see if it works no that's probably just gonna if you done that it's probably busted i was unaware of that that is exactly what i did lo and behold now my, my drill is i cannot resurrect it so i thought well i took it apart come to find out oh that's what i was going to grab i want to show you this switch <coughs> so because i got it wet and I tried to pull the trigger, it busted it. But the battery is totally fine, basically waterproof. The motor, uh, it was it was soaked, but it's a magnetic motor, an electric motor, it's not a combustion motor. So it's not gonna, you don't have to worry about getting water locked or anything like that. But we do have to watch out is for those bushings. Or uh, brushes, I'm sorry. Not bushings, I'm thinking skateboards. Brushes. Uh, nowadays, most power tools come brushless. Chainsaws, power drills, everything comes brushless. Well, if you have an older drill, it has brushes. If you don't know what those brushes are, side, they're so little, you have your tractor, you could be magnesium or um, cutting edge of your bucket, steel. So you can just kind of pop them I am, them. honestly, I have not taken enough tools apart to understand what exactly that material is. I just know what it does. The, well, my point... <laughs> I don't oh. know if I can get it all out with the Dropped it in the water, the turned it on, we'll fried it. Well, it was not the drill itself. Here. It Things was only the switch. Versatile. I don't know if you can see it, but right between my pinky and that silver rectangle, that whole motherboard is fried, which means it did not work. The light worked, but there was no power from the switch because the switch it. was blown out. So what I did was I tried to take my DeWalt switch out of an older drill that was broken, I'm trying to save. Well, this does not fit. <gasps> but that's okay! Because look at it! Turns out you can just take the switch right out. Look at that, so there's the drill head. That's the motor, that's the drill itself. It does all the work. And there's like the battery port. Usually it sticks out the bottom of the handle. You know, so. Usually. It looks. Four-wheel drives, which is kind of coming in, becoming more popular, but uh, it's just no comparison. Like this. Well, <laughs> son of a bitch! Hold on! This is all fucking I think it's pretty good for the... All right, anyway. So it looks... Looks like that. There's your battery port. There's your drill. Well, that's what it looks like on the other side. Only thing is, I took out the switch. 
And now, go check it out, it works! I'm gonna try to set you up here. I'm just, you know, you know what? Fuck. Okay, hang on, I gotta put you down because I don't know how to do this yet. But I will! Uno momento. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I bring to you the switchless drill, and it works. Only problem is you got you have to find a way to put it back in its casing. Otherwise, you're never going to be able to hang on to this if you're trying to drill through logs like I am. It's just not going to fucking work. Trying to get it in the battery. There you go. There's the battery, fully charged. You ready? Watch this. I'm just gonna now, mind you, there's no switch, so it's on 24/7. So you plug the battery in. It goes. You unplug it. So it's always on. But I like to think I just saved about 150 bucks because I've only had this. Well, I've only used it a handful of times, and it's already busted. So yeah, no thank you. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, no wonder why everybody uses old electric or old power tools for <coughs> doing fancy things because they are resilient. But yeah, anyway, you could just remove the switch. Now, disclosure, uh, I am not a mechanic. I have never built an electric power tool, and you gotta be cautious. Things might overheat if you don't use the wrong, if you don't use the right gauge of wire. Um, you gotta understand there can be some hot points which could lead to fire, which could lead to, well, I don't think explosions in this case, because it's just an electric motor. But, my point, if you fry your power tool, try taking out the switch, and uh, it should work just fine. At least if it's a 18 volt rigid impact. And also be careful, because it works right now, but I don't know how long it's gonna work until it bursts into flames, because there is no more safety features, no more safety in that. It is a direct circuit, which means, you know, potential for overheating, fires, electrical, shock, bunch of stuff. Uh, definitely not something you want to use by water, so don't... Disclosure, I am a professional idiot. Uh, don't try this at home. I kind of feel like Steve Irwin. You know what we should not do with this? is use it by water because it could be very dangerous to us and animals around us now why i say i feel like steve Worman? because look at this crocky mate you see that nile crocodile it's the biggest alligator in all the land one chop could bite me in half i'm gonna go touch it it's a shame i miss you steve we all do um all right i'm gonna go try this out and, uh, yeah, let's hope I don't fall in. I probably will, but that's okay. It's only, like, four feet. And there's only, like, three inches of water, so I should be fine. I just don't want to chip another tooth. <laughs> okay, bye.